All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go through how to create that parts list. All right, we're gonna create a blueprint that looks similar to what was given to us at the start of the project. I'm gonna to go to new. Uh, we've used parts, we've used assemblies, we've done the blueprints. This last option here is the exploded, or that parts list option. Make sure you're in the inches. Uh, I'm gonna locate my train. So I've got my train out there. I'm going to use tweak component. I'm just going to begin pulling my parts away from my train. Click on a part. It is ideal that you click on this arrow. This arrow allows us to give a straight out motion. This blueprint or this drawing will help us identify how the train goes together. And notice that I'm pulling them about equal and using that arrow. That arrow again allows everything to move in a nice straight line directly out from my train. Don't forget the two pieces in the back of the train. If you'd like to adjust anything, right, so this back uh, magnet, I pulled a little bit far out. What I can do is click on it and drag it in a little further. I'm not overly concerned about this side because this is the side that we're trying to replicate for the blueprint. I'm going to adjust this one just a little bit. Looks good. All right, so now I'm going to save this file. You'll have an option here that say your S number, so you're going to save there. I have a file located out in my own personal drive. I'm going to go to New. Let's use that B custom landscape. Hit Create. Skip on this. All right, we can label this parts list. I believe my scale is one to one the hour, whatever the date is, and then your name. You go to base. It's going to bring in, it'll likely bring in, as long as you have that file opened up, it'll bring that file in. If not, you would have to search for it. I'm going to adjust my scaling to something that will fit the paper. I am just going to verify that that is one to one. Yep, there's my one to one. Up on top where it says annotate, parts list. Again, it, you're going to have to search to identify whatever uh, your train file or wherever your train file is. Right, there's that file I just made. I'm going to place this box in the top right corner. And here's what it'll say the names of the files you brought in. Right, So if you save them correctly as the part name, these files will go in here. Or these names will be here. If you didn't, you're going to have to change the names. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Right? Now I'm going to go to balloon. I'm going to begin ballooning each of my parts. 
I only need one balloon for each individual piece. That is different, right? So I have four wheels. I only need one balloon out here. It is important that when you place it, right? So I clicked on balloon, I click on my wheel. I need to make at least one other click, right? I'm gonna make one other click and then right click continue, right? So that's identifying part number two. It sees four of them out there and it is my train wheel, right? Make one other click, right click continue. Number four is my hitch peg. Yours might be different. Yours might not even match this. The important thing is to identify all of my nine parts. Go through and verify that I have all nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Um, I personally don't think the description is necessary for this project. Um, and if we need to make any other adjustments here, maybe you labeled something wrong, you're just gonna click escape a few times, exit out of any command that you're currently in, hover over it, right click, and go to edit parts list. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do with this option here says column chooser. I'm going to take description and I'm going to remove that. That does free up space here. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. All right. Then if you made any mistakes in the name, right click, edit parts list, and here you can change or modify any of your names. All right. You notice it updates. This file then can be printed out and submitted with the rest of your blueprints. Thank you.